What's up guys, my name's Ryan and if you don't know me, I make action sports content for professional athletes. And today I'm on my way to the camera shop because I'm going to be comparing the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone, which I have here, and the DJI microphone set. I've had these Rode Wireless Go Mic 2s for a long time now, and I'm actually very, very happy with them. The audio quality is great, but as soon as DJI released theirs, I got really curious about that all-in-one compact system. Because I'm constantly traveling, I want to have something that's all contained so I can easily chuck it in my backpack when I need to. Currently, with the Rode Wireless Go microphones, you actually need to bring extra cables with you. They fit in a little pouch. They are small, but I'm wondering what this all-in-one system is gonna be like and show you guys what's good and what's not good and whether you should buy them. So the cool thing about the Wireless Go is that it's this tiny little cube and it has a little furry on it to help with the wind. It's quite inconspicuous, but you can see it when you put it on people. I'm hoping that the DJI is a little bit thinner and a little bit less obtrusive. As for the audio quality, you can still hear me nice and clearly despite the fact that I'm on this one wheel. There's a bit of wind. I've noticed that it's been very clear when shooting kiteboarding and action sports. It's your harness. Okay, yeah. so this is like... Oh, your harness is on deck. Oh, no way. Yeah. It's exactly your size, man. Yeah. You will probably know by now the name of Rode. They make the shotgun mics that sit on top of the cameras. They make a bunch of different types of mics as well. Now, DJI, on the other hand, are pretty much known for their consumer drones. Their designs are pretty seamless. Everything seems to just work really well. And I have, like, two of their FPV drones and one of their regular drones. This was their first foray into wireless audio so I'm excited to find out what the audio quality is like I only have 45% battery left good thing I brought my charger there it is now let's go try them out so since my one wheel ran out of battery I decided to post up at a coffee shop while it charged to unbox the DJI mic and check out its form factor when you first open the case you're presented with both mics and the receiver along with a lightning connector and USB-C connector that connects to the receiver. Everything just turns on automatically and pairs automatically, making setup super easy. When comparing the DJI mic to the Rode Wireless Go 2 mic, it's noticeably thinner on the front profile. When it comes to the side though, they're about the same thickness. However, the clip does protrude slightly more with the addition of the magnet. But this actually comes in quite handy when trying to hide the microphone on a shirt or jacket. This magnet is actually surprisingly strong for how small it is, and I can't imagine having any problems with it falling off. On the side of the microphone, it looks like there's a record button to initiate the recording of the safety track, which will give you up to 14 hours of onboard storage, along with a linking button in case the microphone gets disconnected from the transmitter. The receiver has a touch screen, and it looks like it's prompt me to set it up. It's already pretty much on the same date so all I have to do is set the time and we're ready to go. Everything is already paired. Inside the box is a USB-C connector and a lightning connector, both of which use contact pins on the bottom of the receiver so you can plug it straight into your phone. Along with the case that contains the microphones, the DJI mic also comes with a fabric case that contains the furry windshields, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack cable, and a USB-C to USB-A cable. Now that we've checked out what comes in the box and my one wheel is charged, I think this is the perfect time to test out the lightning connection on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So that was a good little pit stop. Time to head home. I have to say, first impressions are very good. I'm now using the DJI mic. One of the reasons I wanted to get this DJI mic system was precisely because it will work with more cameras more easily. The fact that this has a little lightning connector attached to the receiver is money. I think one of the things that is the most important with filmmaking and content creation is that it has to be easy because if it's hard, then you're less likely to do it. As long as there's not too much of a sacrifice in the quality, it's definitely worth having something that's a little bit quicker and easier. So hopefully there is no drop in quality and sounds as good as it is to use. Amsterdam is definitely still very cold. One of the awesome things about good audio is that it makes even mediocre video quality much easier to consume. Like this is just the front facing camera of my iPhone 12 and uh, I think just the fact that it has good audio quality means that it's easier to watch. How much battery do I have left on the one wheel? Oh, oh yeah, 47%. Perfect. I'm back from the most dangerous place in the world, AKA the camera shop, 
I've had a bit of time to mess around with this DJI microphone system and I have to say it is absolutely awesome. No matter which way you look at it, both the DJI microphones and the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones are leaps and bounds ahead of these bigger original microphone packs that we've had in the past that require constantly changing batteries and a lot of pairing and setup issues as well. The benefits of these, I think, are the fact that you can uh, really be more specific with the channels that you use and the frequencies. Um, but for someone like me that's just making YouTube content and kind of one man run and gun content, I just want something that's gonna work straight out the gate. And both the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones and the DJI microphones do the job really well. So when comparing these two, I'm really looking at very minor details. But these details are often what makes a really good microphone from a great microphone. And I have to say, in my opinion, DJI takes the win for my use cases. The fact that it has the lightning adapter and the USB-C adapter, it has a touch screen for the menus, it has an onboard record button physically on the actual device itself. So DJI has clearly really thought about every little detail of the experience of using these microphones. I think it's pretty obvious at this point which one I'm going to be going for and which one I'm going to be keeping, and that's going to be the DJI microphone system. Whichever one you decide to buy, both are going to have great audio quality, I can guarantee that. In my opinion, the DJI takes it on this one. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any more questions or you want me to kind of look into this in any more detail, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.